We return to the 2022 Super Mario Bros. Invitational, where so far we've witnessed the highest level of competitive Super Mario Bros. speedrunning ever. Nifsky, the current world record holder, is in first place with 16 points, but Cosmic is only two points behind and is itching to take the lead here in the third race. Let's count them in. Three, two, one, go! All right. Ooh, very in sync this time with that. Yeah, very good with the start. You can hear it in the music. Yeah, that's right. I know the music in the room is a little overwhelming from the eight consoles, huh? But that's okay. I don't think uh, anyone in this room probably hates to hear that sound. No, I, no, I think some of these guys have heard it tens of thousands of times, so no big deal. Looks like we had some good making it through 1-1 there. Picking up the mushroom still. Good luck, Jeremy. Good luck, man. Looks like Nifsky lost the frame rule in 1-1. I wonder what he was doing there. But the other guys tied. Couple runners going for the coins up above. It's it's really good to get 37 coins for our man on console number five, Killer 37. While I was talking about coins, Scalpel missed a pipe jump. Let's hear from Bismuth about these pesky piranha plants. Mario and enemies have a visual sprite and an invisible hitbox. Some enemies like piranha plants have much smaller hitboxes than the sprite would suggest. Even though it looks like Mario should hit the piranha plants, he actually jumps cleanly over their tiny hitbox. This is by no means easy though, and as Scalpel showed in 1-2, the slightest mistake can still cost you. Nifsky, two frame rules behind the leaders, Cosmic, Jeremy, and SunWest, tied. So if there's a tie, oh, I'm missing points, a coin. Going on coins? No 37! Cosmic. Look at my coin count. You won't believe it. Oh, oh nice! Was that a <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Let's go. Wow. <laughs> that was nuts. I can't. <laughs> I'd love to see those flagpole glitches. That's the coolest thing. Every, every flagpole. Well, I mean, every glitch is cool. So yeah, we get to see the flagpole, flagpole glitch lead. Save. Yeah, and there <laughs> you awesome. see. Look, Jeremy won ahead of Cosmic and some West tied behind that. Wow. So here comes Jeremy. That flagpole glitch paying off. You see the tasteful transparency on those, those Are coins? Are you serious? It's not like it took me hours to make that happen, but you know. Oh, a little bit of time lost there. For Nifsky. Do you have to do the coins? I actually don't. I just, I just uh, alpha blend them, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they just, they have a set. I don't know. It's kind of lame. It's, okay, so Jeremy lost his little advantage from the flagpole glitch and is tied with some West in 8 1. Cosmic 2 frame rules behind that, and Nifsky 4 behind Cosmic. Yeah, this level is, is, it's deceptively difficult. I spend a lot of time practicing this level personally because it's actually quite hard because you and you really don't have much margin for error. You have to, yeah. The, the Soprano Plant hitboxes are small, but they're not that small. You, no, you will no, hit them if you no. mess up that jump. And these the pipe jumps that they're doing, where they actually jump on the pipe and then jump over the Piranha Plant. That's tricky. That's hard. Like, very easy, hard. very yeah, easy to run judges. into. But it looks like they got it perfectly. And here comes our Fire Mario crew. Good judges. And Cosmic. Must have taken a death and is back with Scalpel. Some Wes and Jeremy still tied to the frame rule, tied to the frame coming into 8 2 here. I really hope one of these guys goes for a bullet bill glitch. You I know? would love to see that. I really hope they get I the shot the every time. Oh! In competition, accounting for the shot. That was the actually sketchiest thing I've ever Fox seen, dude. Oh See, but that's what I was Jeremy's saying. Ahead now. That's what I was saying about that jump over the pipe. That's what held some Wes up. And here they come. Scalpel behind um, that, those I early deaths, unable to overcome them. Jeremy, two thirds of a second ahead. Pop this guy. I don't know what I am. Let's see what the Hammer Bros do. Looks like the Hammer Bros were nice to Jeremy, both of them on the bottom there. It is possible to stamp, stomp these Hammer Bros, as 
provided you're moving. Oh, it is. oh no! The hammer roll took out someone. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was on. I was only on. Yeah. Jeremy now with a commanding lead. Yeah, Jeremy has quite the lead over Nifsky, so he. I got bullet bill glitch. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. We, we have we have to do the replay. We have to for do that. the replay to catch Cosmic's bullet bill glitch. Very nice. It's because you said you hoped I went for it, so. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> oh no. Nisky is dying in a four bro. unbelievable supersonic and Rupert taken over Litsky, but we're Jeremy just with a commanding lead at this point. Yeah. Seven second lead. You know, he's just gonna just gonna come through here nicely, I think. Supersonic right behind Jeremy, followed by Rupert and Nisky and Kriller. Jeremy in the Yeah, neck and neck. <laughs> neck and neck. Sorry, we won't <laughs> steal that joke. Jeremy can just take his time here. No matter what, Bowser, he's got plenty of time. Just so there's, there's no points advantage for finishing. No far points advantage. He, you know, just. <laughs> that was <laughs> the Jerry one. We were just so saying. Deep. Yeah. And Supersonic is in first place now, followed by wow. Rupert and Nivsky with and just. One, two, three, Super First place Sonic finish for the Nifsky. Mushroom Crew this time. From, yeah, the Fire Mario Crew take the Still first man. place. Wow. Dude, let's go. With the 508, go. that's still a very good time. 5 with the death. That's a very good time. That's a very good time. Nifsky, 5 though. 5 though 9, 5 12. Bringing that back. Death to swag, or that, that would have been... Oh, man, just that, that finer, final Bowser. He could have waited. He could have waited. Yeah, he you guys were so tight in the water. All right, Cosmic coming in, taking damage, no worries. Grab the safety mushroom. Some West now and Jeremy still in 8-4. That Potaboo took out Some West earlier. I think he was worried about that happening again. Excellent job, everyone. That was a very difficult race with missed jumps and several deaths. All of the runners that neglected a power-up suffered untimely demises alongside the tragedy that was Jeremy's bout with King Koopa. But at least we got a bullet bill glitch. Supersonic finished in first place, putting 10 points on the board in his name. After the third race, Nifsky retains his lead with 22 total points, but the margins are incredibly thin, with the second through fifth positions separated by a single point each. Jeremy, another member of the next generation, is a former world record holder in the warpless category of this game, beating all 32 levels in a mere 18 minutes and 58 seconds in March of 2021. Jeremy is also an accomplished guitar player and a favorite in the Warpless tournament that follows. Jeremy holds a couple of world records in some Super Mario Bros. category extensions, which are challenge runs, such as beating the game with one hand or reaching the Minus World ending. Finishing in first place in the third race was Super Sonic. A member of the Fire Mario crew in this tournament, he demonstrated the value of a safer but potentially slower strategy. As his alias might suggest, Supersonic is a skilled speedrunner of Sonic the Hedgehog games, beating Sonic 1 glitchless on the Sega Genesis in 14 minutes and 10 seconds of in-game time. A world record in November of 2021 that currently stands in second place. But enough of that for now, let's return for the turning point. Race number four will put us halfway through the Any% percent tournament and the available points are dwindling. So let's get right to it after a short word about another sponsor. Level 7 Games is Denver's video game store with three locations, off Kipling in Lakewood, Alameda in Denver, and here off Umatilla in beautiful Federal Heights, Colorado. Level 7 is the premier source for video games, trading cards, board games, memorabilia, coffee, good times, and so much more. Level 7 hosts many events, including a weekly tournaments for Magic the Gathering, Flesh and Blood, and Super Smash Bros. If you're in or near Colorado, you owe it to yourself to pop by and give it a look. Thank you, John, and the whole Level 7 team for being so welcoming and for hosting this event. Thank you. And now for race number four. In three, two, one, go. Looks pretty good to yeah. me. Tight start. Good. All right. I love. I love the fire. <laughs> the fire uh, power up crew. I'm just so happy it paid off. I know, and it it, it absolutely did. It absolutely paid off. You know, it's such a, a tightrope that they're running here, 
because they're running at the same time, the, 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 the consequences of a death are just immense. Yeah. We've seen that. Okay, so it does look like someone who had been previously going for fire, Jeremy, I believe, is not this time, but he did lose a frame rule anyway. Maybe because he did so well last time. Yeah, it's easy to lose um, a frame rule in the underground section there. That's actually a deceptively difficult section to do um, back in 1-1. This is, that's a hard jump. Yeah, how looks many, like... How many frames to spare do you have? you got about three, right? Yeah, you have a, you have a few, few frames to spare. Not meant, not enough. I, a lot of my early resets are in there, a lot of resets. Okay, so they, they make it through there very well, and then our three fire mushrooms. So, Sun West, Nifsky, and Scalpel tied in 4-1, followed by Jeremy, one behind, and Cosmic lost two on Jeremy, so three behind the pack. Oh my goodness. 4-1 is easy. I see right that Sun West and Nifsky are on the same frame right now. Yes, Sun West, Nifsky, and Scalpel are swag tied. Out. All three of them. All three of them tied. Bottom to pole the frame. still saves the frame wow. roll. Was that a flagpole glitch? Bottom pole. No, wow. I did I did swag and I did bottom of pole, but I hit the um power up block so it gets good judges, so it still saves yeah. the frame roll. Still there we go. Okay, looks like Nifsky with the game knowledge gonna take a frame roll. And oh somewhat oh they're still tied here though. We'll have to see. Yeah, 4-1. I'm glad that everyone spared Lakitu, right? You know, we can't have anyone any oh Lakitu murders. I missed the team. I think it's I think it's justified self-defense. Yeah. No, there's no harm. Lakitu's not gonna do anything to you. Oh, we got a death. That happens. Scalpel right in the front, Nifsky and Jeremy behind. We're gonna see as they get into the level, that's when it sinks them up. So Nifsky, Jeremy, and Scalpel tied, and Scalpel and Cosmic tied one second behind him. Oh, not a good noise to hear. Is that a nice collision for Nifsky there? Yeah, Nifsky looks like he missed the jump there. Or he's he might be purposefully losing some time to make the rest of the game easier. I've heard of him doing this. Because he knows what the patterns are later in the game that he might lose some time here knowing where he's going to be to make it better. And that's a... Isn't that... That's some high-level strategy. That's right some there. very high-level strategy. There. I'm not sure if that's what he did, but I'm going to have to see. Maybe it was just a mistake. No, we got Jeremy and Scalpel there, still yep. tied to the frame. To the frame going into 8-2. Mm. Those couple deaths for... Cosmic and someone's tied as well. That's right, they are. What pace are you on, Scalpel? Oh, Jeremy oh, did nice. lose one there. Maybe it was bad judges or something, but he lost the frame rule in 8-1. So Scalpel is in the lead by an entire 21 frames. We'll see what frame happens. Ahead. We'll see what happens to him. I'm I'm just impressed that Cosmic Nifsky and some West oh. are tied as well. Oh, oh no! no. no. For scalpel. Uh, that's a hard jump. That's, that's what I was saying. That's a hard jump. Jeremy, Jeremy in first place here, going into eight three. Do you know what pace you're on, Nifsky? I think six behind, but I can tell by. Um, as long as it's not first three, so so I don't die to the third burr again. But. Looks like the Hammer Bros were nice to everyone. It's actually so funny to see the Hammer Bros for the pack behind are all on top of one another. They're all in this exact same spot. Right there, yeah. Yep. Yes, shout out to Scalpel, by the way. Oh, yeah, okay. They lose time there on the stairs. It might look like a mistake, but they do that to avoid getting fireworks because the fireworks cost you a lot of time. Fireworks happen, what is it, three, five, and six? Uh, three, five, and one. One, okay, yeah, so you want to finish on an even number. Yeah, but if you get a one, it only gives you one firework, which doesn't cost the time. But here we go, Jeremy in first place. N Nifsky, Cosmic, and Sun West tied right behind him. Cosmic lost, lost a little time on that. Jeremy hits the wall jump. They all do. Oh, hit the wall jump. They all hit the wall jump. Oh my goodness, Jeremy with the oh, turnaround. The turnaround is harder on these CRTs. They all get it though. Jeremy's in first in the underwater section, followed by Nifsky, Sun West, Cosmic. Is Bowser going to be kind to these runners? We guess. We can hope. We can pray. My eyes are just glued to the screen. Oh my gosh. I know. Jeremy coming in in first place. Kills that hammer, bro. No problems. Is Bowser kind? No, Bowser! No! Oh, Nifsky oh, no. with the first place, followed by Sun West, followed by Cosmic. Devastated. That's the second time no, for Jeremy, Jeremy to die to Bowser. No, Two Bowser. <laughs> And Kriller coming yes. in with a 510. Dude, let's go. Oh my goodness. No sub fives so this time. 
Rupert coming here, taking yeah. it nice and easy, plenty nice. of time. Very good. Uh, that's the right thing to do, the break. It is, but the runners do not always necessarily know who is close behind them. They don't. It's actually kind of hard for them. I mean, I try and give them updates, but it's kind of hard for them. They don't have the same easy view of the mini-map that we have. Nope. Do. We have the mini-map. We're spoiled by that, I think. <laughs> so Jeremy and Supersonic just trying to finish it up. So when you die to Bowser, you have to restart before the water. You restart. So in all of World 8, Anytime you die, you start at the start of the level. Oh, good. The very start of the level. Wow. In, in most of the other levels, there's checkpoints in all the previous worlds, but not in World 8. And there we go. Jeremy taking a nice 553. Yeah, I didn't... <laughs> the world heals when the screen moves beyond where they were. This was an error in programming, but that's okay. The world heals? Yeah, so if you notice, you'll actually see as it was supersonic when he grabs the axe. The bridge will heal behind him as his screen. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I don't keep it the same. Supersonic coming into eight four here with a mushroom. Very like I think a solid choice. Be able to avoid a issue with Potaboo or the Bowser. Gonna see if he's gonna go for the wall jump. Did the walk off strategy? Gets two frame window here. Gets it. Go. Very good. Well done, Supersonic. Has to scroll the screen far enough to go back into the water section. Does so. Very well done. It is a little trickier to swim when you're big, but there's a trick to swim smaller, which he's done. You can see his head is going into the ceiling. That's because he crouched and uh, before when he was swimming. You, and there we go. No issues here with the mushroom. Hammer Bros kind, Potaboo no issues, and just right through. Well done, well done. We are officially halfway through the Any% Percent Tournament, and Nifsky has shown incredible consistency throughout, picking up another win and another 10 points. Utter devastation for Jeremy in this episode. Two deaths to Bowser in first place. That's the thing with King Koopa. He doesn't mess around. In the overall standings, Nifsky remains in first place with nine points over Cosmic and Kriller37, who are tied for second place but half of the tournament remains. Will someone be able to catch up to Nifsky and overthrow the current world record holder? Well, you'll just have to subscribe to find out. And if you think you have what it takes to compete in the next tournament, or you wanna be here in person, join the Discord or check the description, subscribe, and keep your eyes peeled for future announcements. If you missed it, watch the first two races, or maybe the next two are already ready. What are you waiting for? Click one.